That that tune has like been in my head for like the last few days. Uh Hey <laughs> Hey yourself Hey <laughs> Yo Don't just hey me, I'm freaking out here. Greetings and all that, but please start talking. Don't just hey me Well to put it bluntly Yes, bluntly is appreciated. I think it's because of you. Yeah, you're definitely causing it. How? How is this me? Why are you just gonna blame me? Me? What exactly is because of me? The soul sickness I'm experiencing. I've gotten it much worse since I've known you. Uh, what the? How would I? Baby, you're just too radiant. I knew the nickname Sunshine fits you well. I'm I'm too wonderful? Wow, I don't know whether to feel insulted or, or complimented. You caught me. I'm definitely causing it. Don't you get that from souls? I'm alive. That's probably just a coincidence. Not we merged. You caught me. I'm definitely causing it. I didn't know it tasted like that. What tasted like what? Sarcasm tastes almost sour. Alright, well, be real here. You can't think I'm really trying to make you sick, right? No, that's not what I mean at all. I'm not saying you are the cause of the sickness. <sighs> But I do think you are the cause of why I seem to be more susceptible to it. Is it because I'm about to get your soul? Your soul is like starting to leave like, oh yeah, nope, we ain't winning this, baby. You're not making any sense right now. What does that mean? So seeing me yesterday made you sick? No. My soul was unbalanced before I came to you. I came to you to see if it would go away. That was my theory. A weird theory? Ah. Uh. Kind of seems like a reach, but it couldn't have. <laughs> weird theory. But it did. Sunshine, it did. What? You didn't do it on purpose, then. Do you have any clue what you're doing? Uh, yeah, totally. Nope. I have no clue. I have no idea. Aw, oh, man. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, I'm so tired. <laughs> nope. I have no idea what you're even saying. What are you talking about? It's your soul. You're giving it away, so to speak. Da da da? Da 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 da? What? How? How would I even... Do you ever wish, mortal? Feel something so strongly. Want for something. So bad. God damn it. So badly. There are things I have been wanting for strongly the last few days. It is infuriating. Ooh, tell me more. Of course, occasionally. For the things that matter, yes, occasionally. You said that Sally was ill yesterday, correct? And now she is fine, yes? Yeah, perfectly normal. What are you getting at? I think you did it then, as well. You are giving parts of yourself away. To your sick pet. To your plant. To me. Things you want to be healthy. Things you want to live. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't make any sense, my man. 
That doesn't make sense. Uh, I think you are taking the taint away. Or maybe neutralizing it. I don't know. I got an even better look at your soul when I visited you. I understand the pulsing now. It's because you do not have a full soul. I don't have a full soul? Does that mean I'm dying? Is this going to uh, affect the ferrying of my soul to the afterlife thing? I have never seen a soul that is not full. So I cannot answer your question. But if you were to give it all away, well, I assume you would just simply cease to be. Would I be forgotten? Just like that. And I'm nothing? Dot 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 dot. I... I would never forget you, our time together. You are... Rather unforgettable, and I think that fact will cause me much trouble in the future. You think I'm special. So, maybe try to be careful. Don't wish too hard, is all I'm saying. How do I stop? What if I give it all away? I don't mind. I'll take the sickness, the taint. How about a shotgun wedding? <laughs> Grim, I don't have that much time left, please. We must hurry with our feelings. What? You know, you're trying to take my soul and everything. And if that doesn't happen, I'll accidentally give away my soul all by myself. If I'm not if I'm not gonna be around long, I'd rather cross a few things off my bucket list first. And this bucket list of yours involves Marriage. Yeah, I've always wanted to get married. I don't care about getting married. I didn't care about getting married before I met you. Marriage is whatever, but it might be fun to do. You only live once, right? I didn't care about marriage, about getting married, until I met you. It. You. Ugh. We're talking about something serious, you know. And then you start spouting nonsense about marriage. It's not nonsense. I'm totally serious. Dot dot dot. Let's... Let's worry about your soul for now. And working out why you are how you are. Marriage. <clears throat> we can talk about it later uh i'm i'm not hearing a no by the way casper have you ever heard of casper the friendly ghost excuse me the way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable you ought to be studied i don't do that you're excused? So, yes or no? I have not heard of it. So I suppose the answer is no. Really? Damn. Damn. You kind of have the vibe going for you. A friendly ghost vibe. I am neither of those things. Oh, you really do. I doubt you. And I could, and I could ever have a quiet moment. Oh, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I doubt you and I could ever have a quiet moment. God, I read that so wrong. <laughs> Oi. You have your friendly moments, sometimes, occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You're awfully pale. Well, I'm certain that I am not a ghost. Like I've said many times, you really do have a vivid imagination. 
must you let it rue run so wild all the time? Definitely. Eh, if it annoys you, it makes me want to do it more. I'll try and calm down, since you asked so nicely. Since you asked. And thank the hells for that. Oh. I don't, I don't remember if he said this before, but just in case he hasn't, another tidbit of information, of lore. He says, thanks, thank the hells. That means there are multiple different kinds of hells. It could just be the seven layers. That sort of thing, Dante's Inferno kind of deal. Ah, but it's just more information. Try, try and still your imagination. Try harder. Why do you look like that? Try with all your mights. Seriously, what are you doing? Your face is going red. <laughs> kind of like yours. Keep trying. Are you actually holding your breath right now? Just a little more. You know what? It doesn't work. What? My imagination is simply too strong. It cannot be controlled. Dot dot dot. So that's what you are doing? Why did I ever think you couldn't get any stranger? How was holding your breath meant to help? Eh, worth a shot, no? Honestly, no clue. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Sure. You know... We've come a long way, huh? You seem less edgy than when we first met. I was never edgy. I am death. <laughs> there it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I... I don't believe I have changed all that much. I am the same as always. Nothing has changed. Nope. Not my feelings or anything. Not at all. <laughs> Mighty suspicious, Casper. Maybe it's because we're friends now. Dot dot dot. I don't see you as a friend. Oh. Ah, I see. You don't? Oh. That kind of hurts, you know. You didn't have to say it right to my face. I get it. I get it, man. No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Ugh. Oh, I didn't. You misunderstand. Not really. You kind of just said we are not friends. Eh. <laughs> I thought it was pretty straightforward. Fuck. I thought you were more perceptive than this. I have been flirting with you for days. Well, obviously. Yes, and <laughs> I never noticed. You aren't that stupid. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hells. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. dot. It's not something I expected. I could never have expected this. It's not something I choose. It's it's a terrible idea all around, honestly. <sighs> ah. What is a terrible idea? To not want to be friends? Stop. Talking. Oh, no, oh, all right, eesh. I... Dot, dot, dot. I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much. Way too much. Ah, uh, I see a little bit of sweat. Someone's getting a little nervous. Why? Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's unfair, honestly. 
I have done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I have been a good reaper. And now my heart tells me to throw it all away. What are you talking about? <gasps> Grim, could it be? What do you mean by too much? I didn't expect to... To feel like this. To feel so... Strongly. Oh. Grim, could it be? You were supposed to just be another job. Are supposed to be just another job. You... Don't think like that anymore? Your soul is one I must collect. There is no way out of it. It is my job as a reaper. It's a task I must fulfill. But I... I find myself wanting to disobey. To break all the rules I have so carefully followed until this week. So, why don't you? Then break them. Rules were made to be broken. If I do, they'll just send someone else. I am easily replaceable. No, you're not. I am one of thousands. You're not replaceable to me. But that's not what I'm trying to say exactly. Okay, what is it you want to tell me then? What I am trying to say is that I... I don't want to be friends. I don't want that at all. Okay, wow, stop being so hurtful, man. I found myself wanting to be selfish. Because I want more, more from you, more than friendship. Shit, you like me? Are you sure? <laughs> you like me? S somehow, I like you, Steve. I don't know why or how or what to do about it, but I... I like you very much. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm just too lovable. You've fallen for my charms this time, Casper. That's what I'm talking about. It angers me how much I can't hate you. Dear gods, oh, dear gods above, this is the most embarrassing thing I have ever done. Do not perceive me. <laughs> I want to perceive you. I want to, I want to perceive you so hard right now. I should, but instead you've done this to me, ruined me completely. Oh, Grim, yo. We haven't gone that far yet. <laughs> Wait till day seven. <laughs> anyway, cool. Now that that's all said and done, I'm going to go. Time for a long, cold shower. God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Just like that? <laughs> wow. You really said all that and left. Then <laughs> left? Come back. You don't need to be so shy. I am not being shy. Sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I am actually quite forward. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. So you desire me? That should be obvious to you. Well, you do need a cold shower now. Duh, duh. Oh, exclamation shock. 
that is unrelated. I must wash my hair, that's all. <laughs> Glad I have that effect on you, hee hee. I can just imagine the smirk on your face. You are a wicked man, mortal. By the way, since it's somewhat topical... Oh. Do you ever cut your hair, or have you just been letting it grow out since birth? You don't like my hair? No, I absolutely do. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. No, I absolutely do. I was just curious. It's very long. It must have taken a long time to grow. I don't. There is no need for me to cut it. Anyway. It really suits you. I can't imagine you with shorter hair. The long hair is kinda iconic. I agree. You'll keep growing it then? No. But you just said... My hair does not grow like more like a mortal's. Mine has simply always been this way. If someone attacked you with scissors, it won't it wouldn't grow back? Do you plan to attack me with scissors? As fun as it would be to see you with shorter hair. No. Ooh, better watch your back, Grim. Dot dot dot. I'm kidding, silly. I wouldn't do that to anyone. If you did, I would simply have to pluck each hair from your head. One by one. Oh, don't... Don't do that little cute emo after making such a threat. <laughs> no, terrifying. Yeah, yeesh. Each hair one by one? Ugh. That sounds awful. How do you feel about hair dye? No. You feel no about hair dye. <laughs> no hair dye, got it. Or hair cuts. Or haircuts. Can I play with it though? Put pretty braids in it. Maybe put some flowers in it. Why would you want to do that? Because I think it would look pretty. That kind of thing would not suit you much more than me. That kind of thing would suit you much more than me. God damn it. Put some in my hair then. I could make you a flower crown. I'll make one for myself as well. And then we can match. We can be twinsies. Again, it would suit you. It is hardly my style. What if I said pretty please? Uh huh? I would not be swayed so easily. <laughs> Obviously. Super mega duper pretty, please? Well, a super mega duper pretty please is much more serious. I might consider it. <laughs> Only might? Correct. Have some patience, mortal. Wait a second. You were born with hair that long? What? I can't imagine a baby with hair like yours. See, exactly. This is what I was asking earlier. I'm pretty sure it was earlier. Were you born like a normal person, or were you just born into existence as you were? I need to know the lore of Casper. You misunderstand. I suppose I haven't really explained. I was not born. I was never a baby or a child. <coughs> uh, Casper's voice is really starting to get to me right now. <laughs> Alrighty. I was created solely for my purpose as a Grim Reaper. I have always looked the way I do now. Oh? That's a little sad, but 
What about before you were a Reaper? There must be a before. There was not a before. Well, to be honest, I do not know what was before. It is classified, even from me. Ooh, knowledge even the Reaper doesn't know. All I know is that we are created somehow, then given our job. That is why I seem to live for my job. I literally do. Could you have been human once? Maybe they wiped your memories. Huh? I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul, so it came from somewhere. I am not totally artificially created, I think. So what happens if you want to quit? Or is that like not even a thought to you? I would probably be forcefully terminated. That doesn't sound, that does not sound healthy. No, I would say death is not healthy. Anyway, speaking of hair and all that, I am going to wash mine now. Still need that cold shower, huh? <laughs> yeah, he does. I will talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a hair cut, by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Tomorrow, Steve. The last day of our bet. Good night. Until tomorrow, Casper. Until tomorrow. Yeah, day six. All right, this one was actually a little bit shorter than the other days previously. But we got a confession. The Grim Reaper likes us. The Grim Reaper likes us. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he wouldn't have fallen for these charms right here. I'm just too damn lovable.